<laughs> well, he made slime primetime TV viewing for a generation <laughs> on Nickelodeon and then unwrapped a whole new chapter with the Food Network. Now Mark Summers is taking on a new physical challenge, starring in the brand new play all about his life called The Life and Slimes of Mark Summers. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. Nice to be here. Now, thank you for being here. And I love the title oh of the God. show. I mean, that was easy to come up with, I imagine. Pretty much. You know, yeah. I'm probably the happiest 72 year old man in New York City. The fact that I'm getting an opportunity at this point in my life to do something entirely new. I know, but you've just reinvented yourself a couple of times. So let's talk about that. You're let's right. start with this show. A show is it's a it's part memoir. Yes. It's part game show. Yes. It's all heart. Pretty much. It's written by Alex Brightman. Yes. Which a genius. He's a genius. We love him. He's been here a number of times, and I see him in everything he's in. But how did this come about? I was uh, doing summer stock in Long Beach Island, New Jersey about 11 years ago and met a guy by the name of Drew Gasparini and he said you should meet my friend Alex Brightman and we got together and just started hanging out and telling them stories about my life Yeah. and I said someday I want to do a one man show well about a year and a half later Brightman gives it to me and <laughs> says here it is and they got me into a place in Bloomington, Indiana yeah. where we performed it initially and it's grown since there and the luckiest man in the world, we were doing it in Buffalo this summer yeah. and the Mrs. Doubtfire tour opened next to us. The director came and watched our show, unbeknownst to me, yeah. and came backstage afterwards and said, have you ever thought about doing this in New York? And I said, I have, but I don't know anybody. Yeah. And he said, you do now. And he made it happen. I, I mean, like, that just seems like kismet for yeah. you. Uh, that's the word I use all the time and you're right on the money. Right? Yes. Because, I mean, that is just an incredible opportunity and just like the right time, the right place kind of thing. Um, and it's like you said, it's been in the work for years. You did, you've done it in other places. Now you're here in New York. Has this always been on your, your bucket list of things to do, or did this just like, it's a no. happy accident? 1964, I came to New York for my first time and saw Fiddler on the Roof. I'd never seen anything like that growing up in Indiana. And I said, what is that, and how do I become a member of that? And so it's been in the back of my head all these years. But I got sidetracked. I was a disc jockey, a magician, uh, hosted kid shows, did Unwrapped. And this was always in the back of my mind. And, uh, you know, luckily, I, I didn't forget about it and met up with the people who could make it happen. And I'm having the best time I have. There, I, there's a calmness. I, I'm so confident about doing this because I've had all the experience up to this point. Yes. And I just feel comfortable doing it. And you know what? If you are prepared for something, there should be no stress. There's a line in my act, boy, it's so interesting, in the show that says, uh, I believe in being in the right place at the right time, but I also believe in being prepared yeah. to be in the right place at the right time, and now I am, and that's exactly how I well, feel. I actually think that I have said that to Alex Brightman on this show before, what it was for something so else. So maybe he stole he the words from you. Man, I don't know. <laughs> but listen, so there's an interactive portion of this show, yes. too, um, and it feels like, you know, you can't have a Mark Summer shows without a little interaction, but what does that look like? What is that in the we show? We play some physical challenges that you might have seen growing up on the Nickelodeon Network, and then and we, uh, we do little pies in the pants and a few other things <laughs> along the way, some physical challenges. And at one point, we bring out Pickett, the giant nose, and the audience <laughs> goes berserk. I don't know what I it mean, was about it's, that obstacle. Is it like, re I mean, are you reliving? Is this, that's why you're enjoying yourself, because every night you are reliving the best parts of your life. And, and people who grew up with it just go crazy. Yeah. And it makes me feel good. that yeah. I didn't know when we were doing it that we were going to have that kind of impact on a particular generation or yes. two. And it's exciting. Yeah, but then, I mean, you were an, an icon for, from Nickelodeon for a whole generation. Then you had this whole other career, 20-year 20 career of, yeah, the at Network. the Food Network. Yeah. Now, did you think when you started the Food Network that would have been the trajectory? Yeah. I, well, actually, I was working at the History Channel. And I got unwrapped the same day I got a show called History IQ. And I said to my wife, Alice, I'm going to end my career with History IQ. History IQ was a one of the biggest bombs in the history of, uh, of the network. And Unwrapped went on to, you know, last for 11 Forever. years. Yes. And it's on uh, Discovery Plus now. We trend every night. Oh and although some God. of those episodes are, you know, 10, 12 years old, people love to watch them. Oh, my God. I yeah. love that. So that's the thing. It's like now that you've got this show. Yes. You, you did. Now this is your third. I feel like we've had many different <laughs> chunks of life. What's after this chunk, Mark? I'm hoping that somebody looks at this old guy and, and gives me a small part on Broadway. I, I was in Gutenberg doing the, the guest producer thing, which oh, was unbelievable. That. But I would that's kind of like the final thing. If you know, yeah. I, I'm not starring in a Broadway show, but if there's a tiny part, yeah. uh, producers out there, help me out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be way, way cool. Listen, but, on know. this show, we have done this before. Where we tell people, you know, let's put it out into the universe, and it does happen. Really? It happened with Laura Benanti like four times. Oh my. Yes. Yeah, so now I'm, I can't wait for you to come back and talk about your Broadway show. That would be fantastic. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You know. <laughs> There aren't many 
broadcasters like you left anymore. And I just oh. love it. You know why? Because you listen. Oh, thank you. And, and you're so great at what you do. Oh, you're a big thank fan. you, Mark. I, we, I, I'm a big fan of yours, too. I've said that before. I said this is going to be a lot of fun because we, we both enjoy each other. And you, can, you should definitely check that, this out. It's Life and Slimes of Mark Summers. It's playing now at New World Stages. I used to perform there. Did we you? About it. Yeah. For tickets, head to lifeandslimes.com. Mark, good to see you. We didn't even get to talk about your podcast. Maybe we'll right. come back to Next talk time. about that.